Hello everyone. In today's captivating episode, we're delving deep into the mesmerizing realm of breast anatomy and physiology. We'll unravel the enigmatic tapestry of this remarkable organ, exploring its main parts and the fascinating functions they serve. So, fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to uncover the secrets of the breast like never before. First, look at the nipple and the dark skin called the areola which surrounds it. In the areola are small glands called Montgomery's glands which secrete an oily fluid to keep the skin healthy, clean and lubricated. Inside the breast are the alveoli, which are very small sacs made of milk-secreting cells. There are millions of alveoli. The diagram shows only a few. A hormone called prolactin makes these cells produce milk. Around the alveoli are muscle cells, which contract and squeeze out the milk. A hormone called oxytocin makes the muscle cells contract. Small tubes, or ducts, carry milk from the alveoli to the outside. Milk is stored in the alveoli and small ducts between feeds. The larger ducts beneath the areola dilate during feeding and hold the breast milk temporarily during the feed. To ensure a smooth milk flow during breastfeeding, you don't need to use a scissor hold on your breasts. The secretory alveoli and ducts are surrounded by supporting tissue and fat. Some mothers think their breasts are too small to produce enough milk. What is the difference between large breasts and small breasts? It is the fat and other tissue which gives the breast its shape, and which makes most of the difference between large and small breasts. Small breasts and large breasts both contain about the same amount of gland tissue, so they can both make plenty of milk. 